Hello everyone. As we already know that we have to solve this exercise from the identity x square minus y square is equal to x minus y into x plus y. So first of all we have to take common. It is 2 is the common in these two terms. So x minus 2 y whole square minus 25 y square. Now 25 y square is a perfect square and x minus 2 y whole square is also a perfect square. So it can be written as x minus 2 y whole square minus 5 y whole square. So further, if I am writing 2 can be taken as common, it is x minus 2y minus 5y as one bracket and x minus 2y plus 5y as another bracket. I already told you that if there are two terms with the same uh, variable, then we can add them or subtract them and then comes the final result. It is 2 multiplied by x minus 7y and here it is x plus 3y. So this is the answer for this question. Here also we can take two common so that the two terms 16 and x minus 4 whole square becomes the perfect squares. So this can be written as 2 multiplied by 4 whole square minus x minus 4 whole square. This can be written as 2 4 minus x minus 4 as one bracket and 4 plus x minus 4 as another bracket. We know that the, we have to add or subtract the cons, uh, constants. So it is 8 minus x in the first bracket and x in the second bracket. I already told that this can also be solved in another way if we solve this completely and then do the factorization. But this is the easier method of doing it. If we take 3 common here, it is 36a square minus b minus c whole square. 3 is common, it can be written as 6a whole square minus b minus c whole square. So 6a is the first term and b minus c, c is the second term. Again, we can use this identity. It is 3 multiplied by 6a minus b minus c and 6a plus b minus c. We have to keep one thing in mind that it is always better to put them in bracket. So because if there is a negative sign then we have to change this sign as well. So the answer will become 6a minus b plus c as the first factor and 6a plus b minus c as the second factor. Here we can take pi and a as common. It becomes a to the power 4 minus pi square b square. Now this can be written as pi a as the constant term we have taken common. So it is a square whole square minus pi b whole square. So this is pi a. The two factors will be a square minus pi b as the first factor and a square plus pi b as the second factor. If we look at this question, again 2 can be taken as common. It is 25 x square minus x minus 2 whole square. Now these are the two perfect squares. So 2 is already common. This can be written as 5x whole square minus x minus 2 whole square. The same identity we use, we can take 2 as a constant common and x minus 2. We can we have to put this in the bracket. It is always better. And the another factor is 5x plus bracket x minus 2. Further solving it, it becomes 5x minus x plus 2 because minus multiplied by minus is plus and another factor is 5x plus x minus 2. So this is 4x plus 2 as the first factor and 6x minus 2 as the second factor and 2 was already common. In this kind of question, where there are two terms which are neither the perfect squares, it is always better to solve it first. Now x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 2 as the identity goes it becomes x square minus 4. Already it is plus 3. So plus 3 we are adding and it, it becomes x square minus 1. Again this has converted to the identity. It is x whole square minus 1 whole square which is x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 1. So in this case instead of 2 terms now there are 4 terms. So we can take one common term as the in one common term we can use the identity. In this there is no perfect square, we cannot use the identity, but these are the perfect squares. x square is also a perfect square and 4y square is also a perfect square. 
if you look at this question, these cannot be solved by the identity, but these two can be solved. So in this question, x minus 2y can be taken as a bracket and this can be written as minus of x square minus 4y square as another bracket. When I am saying x minus 2y as one of the bracket minus, this can be written as x minus 2y multiplied by x plus 2y because we have solved this as the identity x square minus 2y whole square so which can be written as x minus 2y and x plus 2 in this and this we can take x minus 2y as the common term so it becomes 1 minus bracket x plus 2y or it is x minus 2y as the first bracket and 1 minus x minus 2y is as the second bracket the same way we can solve this question the only difference in these two questions are here it is at the end and here it is at the beginning. But we should know one thing that whenever there are two perfect squares and there is a negative sign in between that we should be able to put it with this identity. It can be written as 2a whole square minus b whole square plus 2a plus b. Now this can be written as 2a minus b multiplied by 2a plus b and there is another factor of 2a plus b at the end. In these two, we can take 2a plus b as common. So the term becomes 2a minus b plus 1. So this is the factorization of second part of question number 8. If you have any problem, you can email us or contact us. In the next class, we will talk about question number 9 onwards. Thank you.